Welcome back. His Royal Highness the Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Decree 5 of the year 2024 appointing a Chief Executive Officer and Deputy Chief Executive Officer at the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority based on a proposal of the Minister of Tourism and following the approval of the Cabinet. Article 1, Sarah Ahmed Abu Hajji shall be appointed as the CEO of the BTEA. Article 2, Dana Osama Yusuf Assad shall be appointed as the Deputy CEO for Resources and Projects at the BTEA. His Royal Highness the Deputy King, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Qadibiya Palace on the occasion of the International Day of Education. The cabinet congratulated Bahrainis in the educational sector, noting their efforts in advancing the education sector to support the kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The cabinet then congratulated Kuwait on forming its new government led by the newly appointed Prime Minister of Kuwait, His Highness the Sheikh Dr. Mohammed Sabah Al Salim Al Sabah. In this regard, the cabinet wished the government of Kuwait success in serving its citizens under the leadership of the Emir of Kuwait, the Zayn al-Sheikh Mish'al al-Ahmad al-Jabr al-Sabah. The Cabinet discussed several memorandums during the meeting approving the following. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding a draft law amending some provisions of the Penal Code. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding a draft decision amending item 22 of the table associated with the decision issue in 2014 of Nationality Passports and Residence Affairs Services. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on an MOU between the Ministry of Youth Affairs and the Ministry of Youth and Sports of the Repu Arab Republic of Egypt to launch the Egyptian Bahraini Youth Council. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on an MOU between the Ministry of Industry and Commerce and the Authority for the Protection of Competition and the Prohibition of uh, Monopolistic Practices in the Arab Republic of Egypt. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on an MOU between the governments of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States of America regarding cooperation in the field of youth affairs. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on the government's response to two proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet reviewed the following memorandums. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Development and Infrastructure Projects on the performance outcomes of road and sanitation projects, implementation as well as government building construction and maintenance for 2023. 
A memorandum submitted by the Minister of Works on the progress of the Council for regulating the practice of engineering professions for 2023, including accomplishments in implementing the Council's goals and plans. The Cabinet then took note of the ministerial report regarding the official visit of the Minister of Interior to the Republic of Austria. His Royal Highness the Deputy King, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed bin Salman Lam Salam, and the Shura and Representatives Council deputies and their heads of committees at Ghubiya Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted that the Kingdom's ongoing national development efforts are proceeding thanks to the competition or the cooperation of a team Bahrain members who work to achieve the Kingdom's comprehensive development goals led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness noted that unifying efforts in implementation of developmental initiatives and projects will benefit Bahrain and its citizens. His Royal Highness noted that the close-knit partnership between the executive and legislative authorities and the private sector will lead to greater achievements and further excellence in the Kingdom's development. His Royal Highness affirmed his pride in the Kingdom's national workforce, adding that their determination continues to support a better present and future for all. His Royal Highness highlighted the outstanding efforts of the legislative authority in developing the Kingdom's robust legislative system, noting the importance of continuing to work as a team to enhance the cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities to achieve the aspirations of the Kingdom's citizens. His Royal Highness also noted the importance of strengthening the partnership with the private sector and empowering it by providing opportunities to increase its contributions across various sectors. His Royal Highness affirmed that efficiency and quality are the pillars of government work in implementing development and infrastructure projects. The Representatives Council Speaker and the Chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Samir Abdullah Nas, expressed their appreciation for His Royal Highness's continuous support, which has had a great impact in strengthening cooperation. They affirmed their commitment to serving the kingdom and its citizens. The Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Chairman of the BCCI, Samir Nas, and several senior officials attended the meeting. His Royal Highness uh, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 1 of the year 2024, transferring and appointing directors at the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority BTEA based on a proposal of the Minister of Tourism, Article 1, Director of the Economic Statistics Department at the Information and E-Government Authority, IGA, Noura Khamis Khalifa Al Saadun, shall be transferred to the BTEA as Director of the Policy and Planning Department at the BTEA. Article 2. Majid Mohammed Majid Al Majid shall be appointed as Director of Business Development and Licensing Directorate. Mohammed Ahmed Al Sanad shall be appointed as Director of the Tourism Control Directorate. Ahmed Yusuf Taqi shall be appointed as Director of Projects and Facilities Management. Mariam Ahmed Masih Durani shall be appointed as Director of Marketing and Promotion Directorate. Ali Ahmed Abdullah Zaif shall be appointed as Director of Resources Information Directorate. The Minister of Tourism shall implement the provisions of this edict and it will come into effect upon its assurance be published in the official gazette. The Representatives Council, chaired by its Speaker Ahmed Lim Salam, held a meeting with the Central Bank of Bahrain, the CBB, and the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning to discuss the issues where a number of banks increase the interest rate on uh, private real estate loans for a number of citizens. The meeting was attended by the CBB Governor Rashid Al Maraj, the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning Amir Mehi, the head and members of the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee Council members, and a number of officials. The Speaker affirmed the joint interest and a constructive cooperation between the legislative and executive authorities authorities to serve the nation and its citizens in implementation of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa with the support and follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the government for completing and expediting housing projects and services and providing the required facilitation for Bahraini citizens. He hailed the efforts of the CBB and the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning to provide housing services for citizens, commending the stability of installments and interest rates on loans and financing provided by the Ministry of Housing and the Housing Bank to citizens benefiting from housing programs and services. Al Musallam highlighted the importance of discussing the issue where a number of banks increase the interest rate on private real estate loans for a number of citizens, noting the role of the private sector and the vital partnership in supporting the housing project system and providing facilitations and various funding options. 
For his part, Mera stressed the importance of enhancing coordination and cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities in light of the royal directives with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He noted that the bank is still in contact with the relevant banks to resolve the issue. The Joint Committee of the Shura and Representatives Council and Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, BCCI, held a meeting to discuss projects and initiatives aimed at prioritizing citizens to serve future endeavors. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed al Salam, affirmed the joint keenness on supporting the joint action and cooperation system between the legislative authority and the private sector. He expressed his appreciation for the role of uh, the private sector with which is a main partner in the development process. He stated that the meeting is a continuation of the project discussion and stems from the keenness of the legislative authority to learn about BCCI's visions on uh, parliamentary economic proposals and legislations. For his part, the chairman of the BCCI, Samir Nas, affirmed the chamber's stance on the importance of supporting Bahraini to become the best option for the labor market by enhancing efforts in cooperation with all government and legislative entities and the private sector to create quality job opportunities for citizens. The Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for Political Affairs, uh, Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, held a meeting of the Joint Steering Committee between the Government of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Nations Agencies. Dr. Abdullah bin Ahmed emphasized Bahrain's desire to strengthen cooperation with the UN in promoting international peace, security, human rights, environmental protection, and sustainable development goals as strategic fundamentals in light of the diplomatic approach of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the directives of the government, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The UN Resident uh, Coordinator in Bahrain, Khaled Al Mikwad, and uh, representatives from relevant ministries, government agencies, national institutions, and 21 specialized organizations attended the meeting held at the ministry's headquarters via video communication technology. The meeting reviewed potential cooperation between Bahrain and the UN to activate the Strategic Cooperation Framework for Sustainable Development 2021-2024. It focused on strengthening anti-human trafficking mechanisms, early education projects, and planting mangrove trees. The Kingdom also discussed new visions and projects for the Strategic Cooperation Framework for 2025-2029, aiming to achieve carbon neutrality by 2060. The Undersecretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for Political Affairs commended Bahrain's progress in strengthening its historical and strategic cooperation with the United Nations agencies, highlighting its success in various fields. An implementation of the directives of His Majesty the King to provide aid to the Palestinians in Gaza and contribute to the Bahraini national campaign. In this regard, the CAF Humanitarian Inter Initiative provided six fully equipped ambulances that include two mobile clinics. On the occasion, the Secretary General of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation and CEO of Bahrain National Committee for Supporting the Palestinian People in Gaza, Dr. Mustafa Sayyid, hailed the efforts of the CAF Humanitarian Initiative and its partnership with the Foundation to implement the Royal Directives. He expressed hope that all charity societies follow their lead to unify national efforts of supporting the Palestinians in Gaza. He affirmed the importance of the donation, which constitutes an extension of Bahrain's humanitarian contributions, adding that the ambulances will be transferred by land to Gaza through Jordan. He noted that the support aims to enhance the strips, uh, ambulance and emergency capabilities to fulfill ambulance services for the Palestinian people. The General Secretariat of the Shura Council launched a strategic plan for the years 2024-2026 as part of its uh, first initiative to develop institutional performance supporting legislative work during 2024. Secretary General of the Shura Council, uh, Karima Mohamed al Abbasi, indicated that the strategic plan in its uh, fourth edition carries an ambitious vision for excellence and sustainability and providing effective support for legislative work through a message that includes effectively providing technical and administrative support to members of the Shura Council to enable them them to carry out their parliamentary duties and to represent Bahrain internationally. She said that the strategic plan included a set of institutional values represented in leadership and sustainability and innovation that enhance the optimal use of resources and raise the quality of services provided as well as transparency in performing work according to professional foundations, in addition to administrative justice that enhances the principle of competitiveness and equal opportunity. The Information and E-Government Authority published its foreign trade report of the fourth quarter 2023, which encompasses uh, data on trade balance, imports, exports of products with national gains and re-exports.
With the aim of making national industries accessible to global markets, Bahrain has launched several initiatives through which it seeks to encourage Bahraini exports and improve their quality to raise the kingdom's status as a global industrial partner with added value in the economic scene. In November 2018, the Bahrain Exports Initiative was launched as the first national initiative specialized in developing exports and supporting national products and services to make them global by supporting the expansion of small and medium enterprises, promoting and accelerating the growth rates of Bahraini exports and enabling exporters to consolidate their status on the global trade map by entering export markets with high growth rates. In 2020, the Made in Bahrain Initiative was announced with the aim of promoting local products primarily in local and regional markets, enhancing reliance on local industry and achieving self-sufficiency and food security. The General Directorate of the Civil Defense continues making relentless efforts to achieve its mission and goals aimed at preserving the safety of lives and property. More on this report. The General Directorate of Civil Defense is exerting relentless efforts to preserve the safety of lives and property. Within this framework, the Protection and Safety Department of the General Directorate of Civil Defense supervises and monitors the preventive procedures and precautions in all facilities, whether related to planning, design, implementation, operation or verification. It meets the necessary safety requirements to ensure its continued safe operation. The Protection and Safety Directorate is the authority having jurisdiction in the fire protection field in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Directorate's main task is the protection of lives, properties and environment that is done in cooperation and collaboration with other agencies and entities in the Kingdom. The Directorate consists of experienced engineers, inspectors and plan reviewers who work as a team to enrich the fire safety ecosystem. The inspection division plays a huge role within the administration of civil defense and the Department of Protection and Safety. Our job is to ensure the implementation of the fire safety requirements within the buildings, throughout sites, inspections, which is conducted by our officers and inspectors within our division. In 2023, the division has granted 569 fire compliance certificates throughout the whole year resulting in the safety of many buildings and institutions within our kingdom. As part of the Directorate's performance development process, the Disinfection and Hazardous Substances Handling Branch continues to protect lives and property, ensure the safety of citizens and residents, and participates in spreading awareness and enhancing public culture with the aim of reducing fire incidents, hazardous substances, and fire causes. Hazmat section plays an important role in Protection and Safety Directorate. In this section, we study all kinds of projects using storage, transporting, and any other activities related to hazardous materials. After we review all details about the hazardous materials, we decide the suitable safety requirements that need to be available at sites, according to hazmat code and international standards. In the year 2023, we reached an important milestone for our section, which is the automation of all our services. These efforts aim to provide a safe environment while spreading civil defense safety guidelines to avoid any damages. The value of integrated community partnership appears in achieving public safety for all, to protect lives and property and protect national capabilities from all risks. The President of Somalia, Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud, received Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adil Asumi, where the Somali President affirmed that Bahrain and Somalia have deep-rooted relations at all levels. He praised the stances of His Majesty the King in support of the security and stability of Somalia in its war against terrorism. The Somali President appreciated Bahrain's balanced foreign policy in preserving the capabilities of the Arab nation as a result of His Majesty's forward-looking vision to support all efforts towards joint Arab action.